Welcome back to another episode of Real Talk with Dina and Joe. Oh, it's Joe and Dina. I'm about sorry. to say, wait a second here. <laughs> You're just changing the whole. Let me make it's Joe well, and Dina. Yeah. And see, so our topic today is the dynamics of like working together as a couple, as a team, as even like co-leaders. So you know, there's always got to be a second in command. So that would be Joe. Oh wait, is that me or you? Who's second in command? Oh man. I think that's me. I have to admit, I'm second in command. So, um, and which is a very important role. And um, it's, it is, it's specific things that you need to be aware of going into um, working together with your spouse or if you're in a relationship, even if it's family, when you're leading together, because you really have to be on the same page to well, make it work. I said, look, with, with this topic, there's a couple of different points that we can really kind of, you know, address here today. One is kind of like what you said, right? Well, then really who is in the driver's seat, right? Who's the pilot? Who's the co-pilot? And I think sometimes... Uh, internally, I think that could become kind of a kind of an issue, I guess, yeah. between maybe like you know couples that are kind of in business together uh, or are working together. Yeah. Um, that's one thing we could definitely talk about. The other thing is is really as, as well as like how to how to have that balance, right? How to be able to kind of like know when to kind of shut it down because I think at some point, you know, I know you and I always kind of you know have this little like internal fun argument about the fact that you know, listen, when I come home, like. I want to be able to shut down. I don't want to keep talking about business, right? I don't want to yeah. be at like 7 p.m. at night, you know, getting ready to maybe have a glass of wine, watch some TV, and, oh, by the way, do you see this email? No, I don't want to talk about it, right? And, you know, because people always ask, like, how do you guys work together? Like, how is that dynamic? So, I don't know, which one do you want to hit on first? I mean, I know you opened up with the co-pilot and the, you know, who's in well, charge. Well, I, I think it's, um, you know, understanding each other's role, right? So... You know, if I'm, you know, handling like the operations part, but you're really in the driver's seat of like the vision of the company strategy and whatnot, I think it's understanding what um, role you play best in. So, you know, we both have different, you know, assets or skill sets that are unique. So it's really understanding that, um, embracing that, and then kind of laying it out to be like, okay, like this is where I thrive, this is where you thrive. And so let me step in here because these are some areas where you may, they may like go right over you as opposed to the same, you know, on my side. So I think it's understanding what your skill set is and, and then just like laying that out and then respecting those boundaries so that, and I, and this is really tough for me, full transparency. Like sometimes I'm like on certain things and I have to like step back and be like, okay, so, you know, it's all in the wording, right? To say, okay, so I'm, I'm not in agreement maybe with something that you want to do in this team. And then I have to understand and hear where you're coming from. So it's also like you've taught me, don't be reactive, be proactive. Don't be reactive. How does it, <laughs> what's the thing you always tell me? Cause I used to be so reactive. Yeah, no, I mean, that's, that's it, right? It is, is don't, don't be uh, reactive in a situation, yeah. be able to kind of take a step back and actually respond. Right. That's what I always say. You know, listen, I, I, I think that regardless, it doesn't have to be maybe a husband and wife, maybe a, a significant other that you're working with, uh, you know, in business. It could be even like siblings. It could be family, right? Sometimes also too, the challenge is, is that you, you develop that closeness, uh, that level of comfort mm -hmm. where you also got to know when not to cross a line because it's a lot easier for me. Let's just say for an example, right? If and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say it a certain way so I don't get in trouble. So if I piss you off, right? If I say something stupid, if I say if I make a decision maybe that you don't like, it's a lot easier for All the time. <laughs> whatever, whatever. It's a lot easier for you to be like, What the hell are you thinking? What are you an idiot? Right? And and it's a lot easier for you to say that compared to someone that just happens to be working either with us or for us. Like right. one of our employees is not going to be Joe. Well, maybe I have a couple that may say that to me. <laughs> um, they're not going to say, Joe, what are you an idiot? Right. Because they don't have that level of comfort. Yeah. Right. We, we have a, a working relationship. So sometimes you got to be somewhat mindful of that yeah. when you have that, you know, personal relationship and then you're going to have a business relationship. Sometimes that can also kind of cross over. Yeah. But listen, going into kind of like the first point of like, you know, uh, who's in the driver's seat, who's the pilot, who's the co-pilot. Like for me, I don't really give a shit. I mean, honestly, like it's, it's, if, and if you're a couple, um, you know, husband, wife, significant other, yeah. whatever be the case, if you're in business together, right? The way I look at it is it's, it's your business together, right? 
So I don't look at it like, hey, this is mine and mine only, and this is yours and yours only, right? No, this is ours, right? We have obviously, you know, um, you know, a family, a relationship. So everything we have together is what we have yeah. together. So I don't really care who's the, in the title role and whatever else. I think what's really cool, and I think you kind of hit on it there uh, briefly, is that you have certain skills that I don't have, right? right? I have certain skills that you don't have, right? So I am more of like a visionary person. I have an idea. This is what I want to do. I'm going to throw it out there. You're more of like, all right, well, then how are we going to do this? Put it together. Right. How, 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 how are we going to do this the right way? How are we not going to get in trouble? How are we not going to lose money? How are we going to be able to make money, right? So I think, you know, especially like now recently where, you know, you kind of stepped into more of an active role uh, with La Rosa, it, it's, been, it's been awesome to see because – now it's like I don't just talk to you about it, you know, you know, on the weekends or after hours, and yeah. you yell at me for why don't you do this? Now I'm like, all right, you know what? Then do it. Yeah, Tell me. I set myself if, if, up for that. Yeah, fine. So what about talk, this? What about this? To, so you think about this? He's like, well, how about you do it? No, yeah. I'm not gonna do it. I got my own stuff. All right, listen, you're gonna talk a big game, right? You're gonna talk, you know, talk to talk. You gotta well, walk the walk, and and, and you absolutely have. Yeah. Uh, we have have had some like awesome. Uh, improvements uh, just within like the first couple months of you being here. So I mean, I, I think uh, even the team sees it and they're just excited that you're here. I think almost more that they more excited about you being here rather than me being here now. I think, but that's okay. No, maybe, you know, we're maybe getting maybe I bring we're getting out. Brian in the, in the in the background sh- shaking his head. So no, maybe because I bring out like the smile and the happy part of you because we enjoy each other's company. And I think again that's important when it is when you, you know you're talking about couples. It, for us, it ignites us. I think it's brought like a lot of passion and everything to even our business because we do work well together. And, you know, sometimes maybe it's inappropriate when people say, because I'm in a meeting, I'm like, oh, he's so handsome. And I'm like, oh, I smile. And they're like, all right, put that aside. No, that's that's part of our relationship. So we're not going to hide that. Um, you know, we're not you like kissing in meetings. As long you know? as you don't like, you know, pick my ear or like clean my nose. Oh my God, like he's that. such an ass. She's done that, by the way, before in a meeting. I've we never were, picked his nose. No, I you never picked my like nose. Gone like we this were, from we were, like on his shoulder. We were, we were actually, uh, we were invited to somebody's office. It was a kind of, a, it was in a very important meeting. And um, she's like doing this right here. And I'm like, what are you doing? Like in front of everybody. I'm like, oh my gosh. Uh, it was a little embarrassing, but I was able to kind of <laughs> regain my composure and I focused if on... If you didn't say anything, nobody would even notice. I, I think you trying... sticking your finger in my ear is very, very noticeable. I did not stick with you. It's such a dramatic... You <laughs> being dramatic. <laughs> you almost said the other word. Great yeah, you almost said oh, the other word God. there. All right. So, like, getting back on track, all right? If I can leave you with a few things having to do with the dynamics of working, you know, as a team, whether you're, like, spouses or in a relationship or family... Like one, it's like lay it out up front. Before you're gonna go into that, it's almost like being like an employee agreement, right? Sit down, discuss what this means for you personally and then professionally. Like what are your skill sets? You know, where where do you wanna draw the line of like what decisions you each can make and then what decisions you can make together and just be in agreement on all that, you know? It's funny, I, I think of like my co-parenting uh, my book that I wrote and how I had a co-parenting thing, like I gave like a contract almost. I said to parents, you know, when you go through divorce, whatever, take this and each be in agreement. It's prior to it. It's the same thing like a business. Go into an agreement prior to it, knowing what your skill sets are, what things you have to decide together, what is um, areas of your expertise that you can decide separately. And then once you lay that out, draw the boundaries of just the the respect of separating. Like, so for you and I, like, I could easily be like, well, I mean, what is that, Joe? Like, I don't agree with that. But, like, I'm not going to disrespect him in a team meeting when we're, our leadership is around us, right? And, like, I had to learn through that because, trust me, I did and so did he. And then we go home and I'm like, don't even talk to me. But, like, what do you mean? I'm like, don't and, talk to me like that. A lesson there is don't take the shit personal. I mean, yeah. it's like. Well, so, yes, if you take, don't take it personal. Take out your emotions and your ego yeah. when it comes to the business side 100%. But we all know, ladies, that that's easier said than done sometimes. So when my husband says something to me thinking like it's appropriate and, you know, in a meeting and I and I'm already like kind of insecure about stepping into this role. Right. It's like and they go home. It's like, don't even talk to me. But then I have to be like, okay, we're home. This is separate. So, I mean, let's be real. Right. This is real talk. Like it's 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 work in progress. But you have to be able to check the ego, check the emotions aside and focus on 
like, you know, that business side of it. And in business, there's no place for emotions. I think I've said this a hundred times. The only emotion is when you're celebrating. So we have done that. And, I, and I'm and i growing every day, you know, to learn to be better at that. And, you know, my job here in, in leading together is to edify him in his role and, and vice versa, because we do play different roles, but then we do kind of come together. And like, my big thing is like, I'm good. I, with all that, I just need to be communicated with. You know, like I had to like let go of the emotion and stay focused on the business. Joe had to work on his communication, wink, wink, you know. So I continue to work on controlling the emotions. He continues to work on the communication, but together, man, we are the puzzles complete. And I think it's shown in the last couple of months that we've been working together. Yeah, yeah. Right? I think a, uh, a very wise scholar once said that emotions will cloud your judgments. Yes. Oh, I right? thought he was gonna say something complete. Yeah, no, it's true. No, no, yeah. It's true. And, and, and listen, guys, Listen, if, if you're second guessing or if you're questioning, should I go in the business with my wife? Should I work together with my girlfriend or my significant other? Dude, if you're in a relationship, like you, you, you should be definitely okay with it. I mean, at the end of the day, check your ego to the side. Mm -hmm. And like, like, again, I mean, you know, I, I was, I mean, I, for the record, I was the one saying, hey, all right, you know what? Come on, that's it. Come, come work with us, uh, you know, here at the yeah. front line, and I need you because this is our company together, and we're going to achieve some really, really cool shit, but I need you here by my side, so. Yeah. I was um, already his executive assistant, his, <laughs> you know, I was already there, but this is definitely on a bigger role. Bigger so. role, definitely. Now, the balance yeah. is, is the other key, I would say, component to all this, is that you got to have balance. I, I, I think that, you know, um, her and I, uh, always will struggle with the fact that I like to have my time just to kind of be able to ve either veg out, uh, watch sports, do whatever, right? Have a glass of wine. And I don't want to be checking my email. Like, she's always, you're always on your phone. I'm like, no, to be honest with you, I'm either reading about Star Wars updates or... Or playing a or frigging game. Not playing a game, but I'll be on like Bleacher Report checking to see if the Dolphins are going to do something for once and... You know, just following any one of my local, you know, teams that I follow. So that's what yeah. I, that's that's me kind of checking out and allowing myself to be able to kind of just uh, almost recharge, right? Yeah. And we know that's very important. Yeah, I've had to. I, I have to give him his recharge time. I know. I like. I'm not saying I don't shut down, and but I like when we're on vacation, for example. Like a couple times we go on a vacation and we are, we're sitting like by the ocean, just staring at you know at the ocean and relaxing. And I'm like. Like, you know, the light bulb goes off and I'm like, oh my God, Joe. And he's like, like half in his sleep and I'm like, Joe, I have a great idea. Why don't we do this? And like we've, companies have been born on our vacations because when you're in that quiet time, you get clarity. So if you are working together as a couple and you are on vacation, you may have those ideas. And what's great about it is like chat about it, but then maybe put a reminder in your phone or take notes and then set it aside to discuss later is a good Idea. And, and you know, for the record, I'm cool with that, right? Yeah. If we're away someplace, if we're kind of like mentally somewhat checked out altogether, I mean, yeah, I think it's a for me, yeah, we've always come up with some really, really cool ideas, yeah. amazing ideas, really, to be honest. While we're able to be kind of you know detached from everything, so th that that's a little bit different. Yeah. I, I'm talking more about like you have a crazy long ass day, you've uh, dealt with like 101 different you know issues and situations, and you just want to come home and just be like, dude, I'm like gonna chill right now. I gotta like recharge. And it's like you walk in the house. Did you hear about this? Did you see? Look, look did you read this email? I'm like, no, I don't give a shit. I want to be able to just take a time out and just relax. That's more like yeah, what I'm but, talking about. Yeah, but in my position, it's my job to make sure that you respond to things in a timely manner. And so I go home sometimes because everyone grabs me and, and I'm like, okay, Joe, I have four things. Answer this. Are you okay with this? So I have to go through my checklist. But yes, we, we, it's a work in progress. I think the most important thing is just communication. You know, and, you know, in any relationship, there's always one person usually that's stronger in communication. There's always another person that is good, better maybe with the boundaries. But whatever it is, if you're coming from a place of, you know, trying to make it work and, and be successful together, you just get to respect the other person's boundaries. Your way is not always the right way. And, um, and, and that's really where you draw the line. So... It's just important to communicate and it's like, and, and use your words wisely. I mean, you'd be surprised how you can have a conversation and it can be a horrible, demeaning, like uh, insulting conversation versus a real productive, loving 
graceful conversation. And it's all in how you use your words, right? To say like, why didn't you respond to that? Why didn't you this versus, hey, I'm curious, did you get busy? Because there was an email that I really needed um, to hear back from you on. Like that's a totally different conversation. So if I say that to Joe, Joe will be like, oh, okay, let me take a look. But if I come home, why didn't you respond to that? I'm waiting for you. He's gonna be like, whoa. In his mind, he's gonna be like a lot differently, but. I'm gonna say, like, hey, let me have my second glass of wine. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So it's communication. It's using your words wisely. It's laying it out, being in agreement on the roles, yeah. and then having the respect of communicating, you know, before making certain decisions. I would say that would be my advice. And, so you know, to yeah. sum it all up, I think... That's it. I just I, summed it up. Well, let me sum it up my way. <laughs> oh. No, no, listen. Yes. <laughs> no, no, but but I, I, I listen, I think that, that working together with your spouse, your significant other, whatever be the case, I think I think it's an awesome, yeah. awesome thing that folks should do and should try. Um, as long as, yeah, you kind of know uh, your roles, right? You know, like the skills that you bring, the skills that the other person is going to bring. And you, you, you know, you, you kind of set everything kind of, you know, you put everything on the table, right? And then you also have that balance. Yeah. I think if you can kind of find a way to check all those off, I think you're going to have the ultimate recipe for success yeah. uh, with working together, you know, uh, for whatever it is that you want to do. So. Oh, and I, I will say one, one thing that just came to mind, because that's something that definitely... Um, stood in a way a little bit in just general because we've had other businesses together for quite some time is um, like know where your triggers are coming from. So if you have to check your emotions or your ego on the side, like really do some work to really dig deep to find out why that's triggering you. Because I know like sometimes when you he would say something like, yes, we own the company together. Yes. But like, like I'm not on the forefront of it. So then I would have my own insecurity issues when someone would say something to me and I'm like, you know, didn't feel like I, I was getting the respect. And it's like, you have to dig deep to realize like, why is that really what someone said? Like, did you really, did they really say it that way or did you take it that way? So when you're dealing with your spouse, you have to do the, the you know, the deep work to realize why you're being triggered. And if you're being triggered because maybe of your own insecurity from either a prior relationship or a prior boss or even just from your childhood, you really have to put that in its position and be like, okay, I know it's coming from here. So let me not let that you know, dirty, muddy these waters, because this is okay. That's just the past. That's something that you're bringing in to this relationship, to this business partnership. So I think that's an important thing, right? To like know where your triggers are coming from and why you're being triggered and, and not really making it all about this. I think she just had an aha moment right now. <laughs> all right listen it's a, it's a truth though it's like it's whatever you're being triggered on usually is not because of that it's because something really deep so don't be scared to go really deep where else and, you where know, else is that, that showing up in your life many places many yeah. places all right so listen that's gonna be our show here uh for this week uh thank you for following us again here on real talk with joe and dina or <laughs> dina and joe I, I make it's sure joe and right. dina i'm fine i'm fine with it all right <laughs> We love you guys. Thanks again for following us, and we'll see you uh, next week.